I used to be. I used to consider myself as someone who wanted to build a community. A home where people of all ages could feel safe. Practice without judgment or worry that someone won't understand. We could have the best sessions in the world. <laughs> A place where people would use Crump to find themselves, be better, and not see it as just an escape, but new reality, you know, but the thing about goals and dreams and actually accomplishing them one by one, they have a way of making you feel proud, excited even. I began to develop this audacity <laughs> to do more. I was stupid. See, I thought I could become a king, make us strong, make us thrive. Instead, I became a target and that confused me. I wanted them to understand. I wanted to clarify and defend my intentions. I learned the hard way that they didn't want to understand me. To them, I had to be stopped. Some wanted to be me. Some wanted to kill me. I wasn't even given the proper respect to be heard. I felt attacked. So I started defending myself. My plan to build a perfect scene had now turned hopeless. It took a lot of bloodshed to realize I had merely written up an elaborate fairy tale. <laughs> As the years went on, I grew paranoid. I became hunted from all over, not just here. A line separating real from fake got real blurry. And deciphering between the two became inconvenient. I began to weed out my enemies by laying out traps, setting them up to see how they would behave in situations that tested their loyalty, their character. What sense did it make to wait on betrayal when I can just invite the opportunity? They got the worst of me. And I justified it. At that point, it wasn't about a dream. It wasn't about building anymore. It was about survival. And I was gonna do whatever it took to survive. I had become aware of what my accomplishments meant to others. See, they wanted that glory. The envy they felt every time my name was praised and theirs wasn't. The jealousy, the anger, it made me resentful. I wanted my redemption through vengeance. I wanted to punish them for being weak. 
So I set out to put in more work than ever before, just to rub it in their faces. I wanted my name to make their ears bleed. I wanted my success to suffocate them. My living should make them suicidal. I wanted to shred every fraction of hope because they had killed mine. I wanted torture. All because I was offended. How dare you? I wanted to build a future. Teach. Put us on the map. Our strengths. Our swagger. Recognized worldwide. Everything I had ever done was for you. I got lost in asking myself, why? What's the matter with them? Why do they hate? Can't they see I'm, I'm trying to help? I hadn't asked myself the right questions. Till one day, I looked in the mirror and asked, who asked you to do any of this? No one asked me to build anything. I must have misunderstood my calling. They just wanted to enjoy themselves. They wanted to live in peace. They had their own goals, own dreams, and I got in the way of that. My ego had convinced me that no one else could do it better. That only my ideas would make for a better movement. I couldn't accept the reality and the beauty of what could have been had we worked together and I been more cooperative. From then on, I was done with this self-proclamation, this dystopian idea that had manifested itself into destruction. By that time, no one was innocent. Everyone had gotten blood on their hands. Everyone had foreign alliances, and right and wrong were just two words. We didn't know where we were going. Only thing I knew for sure was if I continued to wear this crown, the people who stuck by me would follow my ways into the same nothingness that I had felt in that moment in the mirror. And they would drown. So I chose a new path. I chose to be a farmer, a provider for what was left of this place and the people in it. I stopped thinking about the future and started living in the present. See, I didn't have a guidance book and the people I looked up to sure as hell didn't have one either. I thought that if I didn't make the same mistakes they did, I, I wouldn't make any at all. I used to be a leader. That was before I 
knew better. We were all just trying to survive. 